Hey, Mitch. Guardians of the Galaxy 3 opened this weekend. Yeah. So I thought I'd draw Rocket Raccoon. Oh, good. Everybody loves Rocket. Yeah, and this will be a quick one, too. Okay. Just like the old days. Oh, good. Lay down some inks, slap down some color, mm. bing, bam, boom, we're out. And you're brushing the inks? Well, some of the inks I'm brushing, some of them I'm using fine liners. Okay. And yet more ink will go down as a wash, ah, if you nice. can believe that. I'll list my tools and materials in the info. So I know you enjoyed Guardians of the Galaxy yeah. 1 and 2. Yeah, they're fun and mm-hmm. colorful, and I like the characters. Yeah, they're big, bombastic superhero blockbusters, mm-hmm. uh, easy on the eyes, funny. Yeah. And, and you were looking forward to seeing part three this weekend. You showed me the trailer, and when the Rainbow Song kicked in, mm-hmm. I was sold. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, they always have a fun soundtrack, so I really wanted to see this one. Okay, so when you asked about seeing it, what did I say? You said, why have fun when we can no, work? I didn't. I said that if you, you wanted said to get the, YouTube is the, a soulless monster that feeds on trends and Guardians would be trending. And if we wanted clicks, we would have to quote, no, play the game, no, no. is what you I, said. I said, at the core of it, yeah, that's yeah. essentially what I said. <laughs> yes. But uh, I said it in a fun way. <laughs> but you know what? It doesn't matter. Because I changed my mind. Uh Uh-huh. Since day one of this channel, we have refused to follow trends. And has it hurt us? (laughs) Deeply. We're floundering. Granted, (laughs) granted it has. But but floundering in freedom. We have the freedom (laughs) to draw or sculpt any obscure creature from some forgotten TV Mm. movie from the 70s (laughs) anytime we want. Yeah. Beholden to no one. That's true. You're right. Uh, No one except the, the small, loyal cluster of frankly, very brilliant viewers Uh and supporters who have exhibited, in my opinion so far, very good taste. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, They're an intelligent group. Mm -hmm. They're thirsty for entertainment, Michelle, (laughs) and that's why they come to us. Well, we do appreciate them. We do. I'm using the ink wash to add soft tones to the figure. Okay. But I'm also using it to ink in a Oh, I don't know what if that's some sort of nebula, oh, yeah. uh, a distant galaxy, yeah. whatever. But the wash helps give it that soft, cloudy feel. So wait, so if you're not drawing Rocket Raccoon to hitch a ride on a trending topic yeah why are you doing it uh, to be honest one of our loyal viewers mentioned recently that they watch our videos with their grandkid oh yeah and it felt kind of good to know that the stuff we're doing on the channel is reaching different generations mm-hmm. we're spanning generations michelle <laughs> yeah. we're breaking down barriers <laughs> i don't I, I know they throw the word hero around pretty casually nowadays don't but i think in this case don't start with the hero stuff I, my point is somewhere out there there's a five-year-old kid who has had to sit through an awful lot of monsters from the 1930s. Yeah. And uh, some zombies from the 80s. Right. And uh, some lizard people from Land of the Lost and and Star Trek. And the Spider-Man villain. And the Spider-Man villain. So, you know, I I just thought, let's do something kid-friendly. Okay. Let's do something more recent, more modern. Mm. Let's do something from this century. Yeah. Let's do something cute and cuddly with a little bite. You know, something that everybody can enjoy. And something you could enjoy watching with your kid or with your grandkid. I back it. I love Rocket. Yeah. So this was a good call. I know. I know. It's like I said, hero. So I'm finishing up with the colors here. My process is usually ink lines, then ink wash, then watercolor. Okay. But I didn't want to ink in the stars out in space uh, because 
I wanted to do a very light wash of color over that whole nebula thing. Oh, yeah. And I didn't want the stars to pick up that color. I wanted them white. Oh, good idea. So I waited until the very end. I put down all my color, and then I grabbed a white Posca marker. Ah. And I finished off the piece by dotting in all those stars. Okay, let's see how it turned out. Not too bad. Yeah. I kind of like this one. I love him. I want it. Well, honestly, you can have it (gasps) if Uh. you have the scratch. Because (laughs) I actually put this one in the shop. But, you know, and maybe someone else will beat you to it because I put the shop link down in the info. Fine. Can Mm. we go to the movie now? In just a minute. (sighs) I put a few of the pieces that we've done here on YouTube in the shop this weekend. You can watch me make one of them by clicking on this link right here. I really do love the rocket piece. Yeah. But it really makes me want to go see the movie. I said fine. Fine. We'll go right now. Good. But when we get back, double work. What? Double? That's the price you pay for trying to have a good time with me. (laughs) We have photos we have to take. You're working on a sculpture. You have to finish that.